Hello and welcome to the podcast, Path to Recovery. This podcast is to let you know that there are many directions you can take or need to take in order to begin your path to recovery. To know your path, to walk your path, and stay on your path. This is not a quick fix in any way, shape, or form. It will be a lifelong walk down the path to recovery. But know you are never alone during this walk. Our default program in our minds, the beliefs, thoughts, and actions, is always going to be directed towards insanity unless we change it. Learning about our belief systems, those things in our deep belief of who we are, what we deserve or don't deserve, how do we see things and how do we react to things. The recovery path is not just breaking free for a day or two. It's a lifelong pathway that we take every day until we die. But never see it as a mountain to climb. Rather, it needs to be seen as one step at a time till we reach the top. What does being sober and clean mean to you? What resembles being sober or clean? When do we get to believe we are sober and clean? Becoming free from our addictions is our ultimate goal. There is a lot of inner work that is required to reach that goal. The truth behind our beliefs, thoughts, and actions will dictate just how far we want to go with our recovery. It isn't simply removing ourselves from the addictive behaviors or those triggers that keep us down. We have a lot of internal work to do. We are never walking alone. This information that we're covering in this podcast, it is for understanding that your situation has been walked before. Every addiction is a process of beliefs, thoughts, then actions. We don't get addicted to anything without first believing that we need to. Some of the key elements to recovery. Learning what our belief system really is. Throughout our lives, we have been introduced to ideas and behaviors that were less than ideal for a healthy internal life. We need to recognize what our beliefs were before we can change what they are. What kind of time frame are we looking at? This is always asked, and the truth is, if this question is in our head, we will need to remove the idea that recovery has a time limit. Everybody is different with different addictions and internal issues, so there is no time frame other than now. What is being sober or clean, and what does being free look like? So being clean and sober doesn't mean we are free. Being free will be looked at and perceived by each individual differently. Just like the quote by Wayne Dyer, if we change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. So what do we need to do? Recognition is the key to curing, healing, or fixing things. We have to recognize what the problem is. Then we have to want to change. Without a passionate desire to change, there will not be any change. There is always a starting point, and it has to come from within each person. And it will most likely never look the same from person to person. What one person does to free themselves from addictions isn't necessarily going to work for us, but we have to see the promise of today before we look into tomorrow. Our pathway to recovery begins here, today, right now as we listen to this podcast. Let's walk hand in hand down that path. A quote from one of the authors of Path to Recovery, Laura Lee. I am 18 years sober from heroin. All I knew at the time of me getting clean was God did not intend for me to be a heroin addict. We have to understand, folks, that everything is about one step at a time. Whether we've tried a 12-step program, chemical exchange, cold turkey approach, or a traumatic event brought us to this moment in time, what we believe can set us free or take us down. Everything we do every day is a decision based on what we believe, which turns into a thought, which then becomes an action. An action cannot happen without a thought, and thoughts don't exist without a belief. So each step we take in recovery requires our actions to follow our beliefs. What do we believe? Do we deserve to be sober, or that we don't deserve it and should suffer? Do we believe bad things will always happen to us, or do we believe we deserve good things? We have to be prepared for a lifelong commitment. Thousands and thousands of recovering addicts will say the same thing. It is a day-to-day process. This means that even if we clean our bodies of the toxins, we still need to keep guard for the emotional or physical triggers that pull us back into darkness. Becoming clean and sober and free 
requires us to detox mentally as well as physically. Cleansing the mind, body, and spirit is the only way to be free. Let's believe, think, and act clean, sober, and free. So how do we get started? What can you do? Developing the skill of recognition isn't as hard as it seems. We do it constantly every day. Yet, what we do with it is the important piece. We recognize when something we hear doesn't resonate with our mindset. I want to heal, but my friends are asking me to get high. Or a decision we make isn't a healthy one. We take a hit or a drink when we are trying to get sober or clean. What we need to do is become more aware of the recognition moments when they happen. And if we catch it too late, don't blame ourselves for missing it. It's okay to stumble. Get back up and continue walking the path to recovery. It is time to recover, not to play the blame game. A quote from Soaring Bear, one of the co-authors to The Path to Recovery. Change the things we can, accept the things we cannot change, and move on. So what do we believe in? Do we know that our beliefs are what we behave like? It is a fact that our actions today are driven by what we have learned, but more importantly, what we believe. If we believe that we were never good enough to deserve a good home, then we will live in turmoil. If we believe that we are not deserving of a healthy life, then we continue to use drugs, alcohol, or other addictions to mask our emotions behind a false belief that we are less than what we want to be. If we believe that someone else makes us happy, then we will continue to dive into all kinds of relationships that fail to meet that standard. We need to change what we believe is healthiest for us as an individual in order to begin the path to recovery. If we are ready to retrain our brain towards a healthier lifestyle, then we can attack the addictions by recognizing what they truly represent, an unhealthy mask of our emotional consciousness. If we are a sex addict, we may be using sex as a mask for our believing that we are not worthy of a healthy relationship. If we use drugs, we might be masking our inability to cope or deal with our emotional issues and believe we would rather not deal with it than to face it and heal from it. If we show anger and disrespect towards others, we might be masking the fact that we believe we are lacking in our own self-confidence and would rather redirect our emotions outwardly and make someone else hurt instead of ourselves. There is no drug, idea, concept, or program out there that will cure us fast. Healing is not done by taking a drug to hide the effects of another. Joining meetings weekly will not cure us. Going to rehab is not the answer but they are all steps that can help us. The only way to be free is to change what we believe, then what we think, and finally, how we act. If we go deep into our truth, our behaviors, and actions, we can see where we need change. It's not about being right or wrong. There is only a need to change and heal. The path to recovery is attainable by everyone. Don't forget... You are never walking the path alone. There are people out there willing to help in the process, and some of them you may be shocked as to who they are and where they've come from, such as spiritual leaders, bosses, co-workers, retired people, business owners, tour guides, yoga instructors, and yes, especially God. We are all together as one in our path to recovery. So check out the next podcast, folks, coming up. Episode 2, What Are My Beliefs? We'll go in depth into the understanding of what beliefs actually are and how they affect our recovery. Thank you very much and have a beautiful day.